Uh, there are four dimensions that if you are communicating in those, if you're investing in those, they're gonna minimize destructive and, and increase your collaboration. Um, the first one we've been talking about is connection. And so the four C's, they all start with C, but connection is, do we know one another as human beings? So as a communicator, as a leader, do I know my people? Or if I'm trying to influence up, do I know my manager? Do I know what they need and want and what's important to them? Um, do I know who they are as a human being? Uh, second is clarity. And this is one of the ones that goes lacking most often. And uh, I think when I think of communication problems, this is the one that causes the most frequent, if not the most uh, severe, also definitely the most frequent communication problems is a lack of clarity. And so if when we're talking about clarity, do we have a shared understanding of success? Uh, do we have a shared understanding of our expectations of each other, of what a successful outcome will do for each of us, about the specific behaviors that we're going to engage in to get there, uh, even what our words mean with one another? One of my favorite uh, uh, tools for getting to clarity is the check for understanding. So you and I are having a conversation, and I just say at the end, I say, hey, Scott, what I'm hearing you say is this. Do I have that right? just checking for understanding and making sure that whatever we think we heard we're on the same page with right so that's clarity then uh curiosity are we open to new perspectives and are we asking specific important questions to help uncover those we're actively investigating it's not just well i'm open but i'm actually investigating how does that look from your perspective um and you know, really engaging there and we learn so much and it also will help draw us out of all of our negative emotions when we get into those those spaces if we can get curious. And then the fourth dimension is commitment. And what I mean by that is that a lot of times in our communication challenges, it's Groundhog's Day, right? We're broken record of going through the same problem over and over again, like, God, do I have to talk about this again? And the answer for that is commitment, which is a shared agreement and follow through about what we're doing. So for instance, if you and I are, you know, let's say we uh, both lead teams and we rely on each other, mutual dependence for a, a work product, and I need data from you and it's been a stress. I know I'm stressing you out and, and it's you're stressing me out because we're not getting the data and we have a conversation, right? So we connect, we get clear, we get curious, we come up with a good plan, awesome. We're like, this is the plan? Yeah, so we got it. If we don't, schedule a follow-up. We call this schedule a finish. We don't schedule a time to review. Let's get to get back, to get back together in two weeks for 15 minutes. How did it go? Let's take a look at what's happened. And if we don't do that, we're not as likely to keep our commitment to each other. And if something else gets in the way, you know, our boss comes and then blows something up. There's, you know, uh, you know, sales customer comes in and they're screaming and they need things. And oh goodness, well, that screwed up the whole thing we just built. If we don't follow up on that and have a conversation about it. We made a commitment that we didn't honor and now our trust erodes. And we don't trust each other just a little bit less. So it gives us a chance to talk about it and say, hey, did you do the thing? No, I didn't do the, no, I didn't need it. Yeah, you're right. All right, what happened? Oh, our boss came with that thing and we had the customer who's okay. Let's figure out how to deal with that the next time it happens. And let's figure out if we can do this thing that we committed to again and, and recommit. So those four dimensions of, uh, you know, the uh, connection, clarity, curiosity, and commitment, if we can invest in those four dimensions, communication, leadership, teamwork, collaboration, all of it thrives with those four.